what's your purpose? What's the purpose of you doing this? Why are you starting a YouTube channel? What's your why? Promote that video and people are going to see your video. They're going to click on it. They're going to they like it. They fucks with you. They're going to subscribe. Well, welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's your girl, Christina. And today, you guys, I will be helping you guys start your YouTube channel in 2023. <music> channel my new subscribers welcome to my channel my name is Christina and today you guys I will be helping you guys start a YouTube channel in 2023 so I have my MacBook with me with plenty of tips for you guys to help you guys out on this journey so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so Obviously, when you first start a YouTube channel, you're going to need something to record on. You're going to need equipment. Um, things that I started out with when I first started my ch channel was on my phone camera. Um, I used my phone camera and I used outside light to start my videos because I couldn't afford an expensive camera. If you can't afford an expensive camera, please don't get one. You have to do your research on your cameras. You have to know what's right for you and so on and so on because cameras are very expensive um i have the camera zv1 the sony zv1 camera um it's up some pros and cons about this camera that i don't really like that it's kind of zoomed in and that it also dies fast i'm trying to do my sit down vlogs so um that yeah it's not you know it has pros and cons it's very good quality um i'm loving my quality on my camera settings if you want to know my camera settings take a visit at my instagram forever dark christina and it's all under my reels on my instagram and i can show you my camera settings it's a little video and it's also on my tiktok so go check that out um i also use a ring light when i do my videos but like i said you can't afford a ring light literally just use the outside light or the light in your house or just go somewhere in the house that got the best lightning for good quality videos and i also use like a little tripod you can get one from five below that's very cheap five dollars so yeah number two is editing so when you record your videos you're gonna need something to edit on but before we get to editing when you're recording make sure the quality is nice because you can't edit a very good video if the quality isn't nice already so editing um if you're using your phone apps that i used to edit was vllo and imovie um vllo has in-app purchases but it was very good because i could do like overlays and text you know little cool effects animations and all that fun stuff <clears throat> but i stopped using v vllo and start using CapCut because CapCut has so many different features has a lot you can do a lot of text animation a lot of video animations a lot of transitions um you could be very creative with CapCut. So I really recommend CapCut to anyone because it's very beginner friendly and it's very easy to use. Um, for my MacBook, because you know, I edit on my MacBook now, I use CapCut and Final Cut Pro because honestly you guys, Final Cut Pro is kind of difficult to edit on. It's not an easy app to edit on. Um, it is expensive. You do have to pay for your Final Cut Pro. So if you don't have the finances or the phones to pay for that app, use CapCut. Um, like I said, CapCut is very easy to use. I'm going to show you guys this app right there. I hope y'all can see that. And, you know, um, but yeah, that's how it looks. That's how it looks. You know, all the transitions and stuff at the bottom. It looks a little different on the MacBook, but it's basically the same thing. So, CapCut is for sure like a very beginner friendly app, and I would literally recommend that to anyone. Okay, for my intro, what I used to edit my intro is Canva. So Canva is very easy to use. You need to know how to use Canva because I also edit my thumbnails on Canva as well. Canva 
CapCut and Fonto. So Fonto is a fonts app where you can add cool fonts to your intro and animate them in Canva. And I will have to do a video on that for you guys to show you how to do that. So if y'all want to see that kind of video, please drop that down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to do that for you guys. But yeah, so make sure you take your time on your intro. Make sure it's nice and neat and looks very well. It can be simple. It can be difficult it can be complex however you want it but um if y'all want me to do an intro video i will also do that as well just check them below okay now since we done did the basics let's go ahead and get into the growth tips so my number one growth tip would be thumbnails your thumbnails is the most important part because look at it as your first impression you can have a very good video, but a terrible quality thumbnail, and nobody's going to want to click on your video because the thumbnail is just so bad. So when you're doing your thumbnails, make sure that you're taking pictures of the video that you're doing and making sure that you're taking very high quality pictures because you don't want to take screenshots out of the video and make it like you just threw something together or no one's going to want to click on your video because you just threw something together then i should take a picture the better the quality of the thumbnail the better your click through rate is going to be and then we're going to discuss that later okay um also Make sure your thumbnail relates to the video that you're doing. Don't be talking about a birthday party and you posting the zoo. Because that's clickbait. And you don't want no clickbait video, no thumbnail, clickbait thumbnail because people are not going to want to watch you. They're gonna, you're going to make a name for yourself. You're going to make a reputation for yourself because you have clickbait stuff. Don't make your stuff clickbait. And make sure it's relating to the video. Okay? Another thing that can help you grow is promoting. Don't be worried about what other people got to say. F them and F their opinion. You keep promoting your stuff until you can't promote it no more. Because one thing about it, one thing for sure, you going to be your only supporter. Your friends ain't going to really support you like that. And don't take it to heart. I mean, they just not. I I'm for real, they're not. They're not going to be reposting your content. They're not going to be reposting your stuff. Why? Because they don't really else with you like that. They don't really care. They rather support someone everybody knows versus someone they're closest to. That's just how it is. Strangers are going to literally support you better than your own friends will. And it's, it's just all in the game. Don't take it personal. It's just all in the game, period. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't take it to heart. It's cool. That's with anything. Your friends will not support you. They won't. I'm going to let you know that. You don't expect them to. You support yourself. You promote your content. And um, you can promote your stuff on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and also Reels. I just know TikTok is a very good one because TikTok got this little content creator Thing that people is loving to look at YouTube videos and stuff like that and also a common mistake sub for sub do not do that do not YouTube don't like sub for sub you shouldn't do that because sub for sub is not beneficial to you or your channel because people will slime you out. They will literally tell you to sub for sub. And then once they get you to sub, they'll also sub for you. And they just got a free sub. And then you don't know who's unsubbing from you or subbing to you because you just don't tell you. They sometimes they tell you, sometimes they don't. But yeah, they just got a free sub and whatever. And it's just like, well, And also, those people don't watch your videos. They don't have to watch your videos. They might not even like your videos. They're only subbing to you because you're subbing to them. And me personally, like, that's not organically way to grow. That's just like, oh, they sub to me, so I sub back. No, you don't want to do that. Don't participate in no sub for sub. That's just, just enough. Just, just don't do that, you know. And I went the hard way. Um, also, YouTube will ask you to remove those subs from your channel. So, do not participate in sub for sub. I'm telling you now. That's a sucky way to grow. A cool way to grow is follow trends. A lot of people don't want to follow trends because they don't want to do what everybody else is doing. But your big sister here is here to tell you follow trends because it will help you grow, especially if that's in something that you're interested in doing. Um, 
such as back to school videos when that season comes around like back to school videos because why because people are going back to school so they're gonna want to see back to school videos back to school tips um freshman advice sophomore advice senior advice junior advice stuff like that because people are going to want to see that um um vlog, another one another good trend is vlogmas y'all I ain't gonna lie, I got like a lot of my subscribers, probably like almost all of y'all from Vlogmas. And I didn't do Vlogmas this year, but I did do it. But I got a lot of y'all from Vlogmas. I was posting every day. I was not skipping no days. It was super fun. And I was putting out very good quality content. Um, so Vlogmas, Vlogtober, those are trends. Those are trends that happen. Hygiene, hygiene videos, self-care videos, those are trendy videos that people are going to watch you know what i'm saying so make sure you post the top on trendy trendy hop on the trends that's how i'll put that hop on the trends also to help you grow you're going to want to have searchable content very searchable for example a college vlog you know high school vlog just not vlogs just college vlogs and blah 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 or a how can I put this um what am I looking for um it's right here y'all oh my god I hate when I do this like it's right here um a productive college vlog something like that productive what's the word I was looking for something like productive this or productive that look that stuff up or daily vlog or um weekly vlog or a sunday reset vlog or something like that so that way it's very nice and searchable because people are not going to just say vlog they're going to put what exactly what they want to watch so hop on searchable content because searchable content will grow your channel and also be just be yourself that's that's the main thing be yourself don't try to be somebody else don't compare yourself to somebody else because People got different things going on. That's their channel. Worry about you. Worry about what you got going on. Worry about your channel. Worry about yourself. Mind your own business. You know what I'm saying? So just making sure you're being yourself and you being you because your personality is going to be different from someone else's personality. Believe it or not. Also, um, consistency and uploading. All I have to say with that is do what's best for you because everybody's schedules are different. Some people can't afford, some people don't got the time to post every week. Some people don't got the time to post twice a week. Some people don't got the time to post three, four times a month and that's okay. Nothing's wrong with that. You have to do what's best for you and what fits into your schedule. Okay? Also, like I said, take your time recording your videos. It's always quality over quantity. Just don't throw something together because nobody's going to want to watch it because you rush through it. Take your time. Plan out your content. Making sure everything's organized. Making sure you got, like, for example, like this kind of video. Making sure that it's organized and you got everything written down or typed up somewhere so you can stay organized and that you know what you're going to talk about during the video. So you just won't be rambling because when you're rambling, that's when it's like, you talking about this then you go here then you go back to talking about this like no you don't need to do all that just make sure you're nice and organized you know exactly what you're gonna talk about and boom you know what i'm saying and me personally i'm gonna take my time when i'm recording just because it if you take your time with your videos if you take your time editing if you take your time doing the steps then you're gonna have an amazing video and that's on period okay okay um Next is understanding YouTube Studio and minus my my monetization. I don't know how to say that word. Okay, so I'm not monetized yet, but I do know how to understand YT Studio and how to help you guys understand YT Studio as well. And I also know how to get monetized on YouTube. So we're going to start with how to understand YouTube Studio. So click through rate. The click through rate is people actually clicking on your video. 
you know, they see a video and they click on it. That's the click through rate. So if you have a high click through rate, that's good because people are clicking on your video. If you have a low click through rate, that means your thumbnail is terrible and people are not clicking on your video. Um, view duration. That's how long people are staying and watching your video. So if you have a really high view duration and a very high click through rate, that's amazing. That's good. Because then YouTube is going to want to promote your channel, promote that video, and people are going to see your video. They're going to click on it. They're going to they like it. They bugs with you. They're going to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Just that simple. Watch hours. Watch hours is the amount of hours that people are watching on your video. And that goes back to monetization. So for watch hours, you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time and 1K subs. As you see, I have hit one of those yet because I don't know why. I just haven't. So that's the limits. And then um, I everybody keeps saying this, but long videos help because long videos, people, especially if it's a good video, people who want to watch long videos, it helps with watch time, hours, and everything. So yeah. Um, and also we come to the final to the end. What's your purpose? What's the purpose of you doing this? Why are you starting a YouTube channel? What's your why? Think about that. And we're going to leave it at that. So I hope you guys enjoy my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Christina. Make sure you subscribe. But you're going to want to see more of me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on all bell notifications. What? <laughs> Make sure you turn on all post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.